afternoon, me and yeah. Amber are here at Warwick Castle yeah. to experience the Haunted Castle event here for their Halloween. There's a couple of attractions here, aren't yeah. there? So um, we haven't been able to book the escape room, they unfortunately. They were sold out today. They were, Yeah, sold out. But we have got tickets for the seance. Um, and if you are a premium annual pass holder, um, you can get the tickets for that free. Yeah. Um, which luckily they told us about because I um, asked over the customer services yeah, the live, live chat. chat um, and they actually said it was an upcharge, which it is normally, but you know, for premium pass holders, it isn't. You do actually get that free. But, so. if, but if you're not a premium pass holder, it's four pound fifty, which I don't yeah. think is a bad price anyway. We're yeah. willing to pay it. So, um, so we're not actually going to do the um, tower dungeons today. We did that last uh, time. Yeah, we, came. we did that quite recently. Yeah. So, um, however, there are another three kind of. I say spooky kind of walkthroughs. Yeah. Um, there's one quite extreme one, one medium one, and then one that's really for the kids. Oh. So uh, looking forward to all of them. We'll uh, let you know how we get on as we get on. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Looks like we've got some kind of like wizard show, is it, Amber? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Because you can, the, I think for the kids you could buy um, the ones. Oh, the one, oh yeah, I see. They've got them here. Ooh. It's not the best view from here, but you know, you get the gist. going to go in seance weren't we Amber yeah. um, however it would have just been the two of us uh, and the staff said that it would be better like a better experience with more, more of us people, like, which I, I reckon it probably would be I don't I don't really know about it but you know I know it's an like audio it. experience I so think, I think you get headphones yeah on the picture I've seen you get headphones but mm -hmm. that's literally all I know um, so I think it's like one of those do you remember that YouTube video I'll, I'll pop it in the description actually it's like the barbershop thing where you put, it's like a surround sound no. experience. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit like that. They've got actors in it. I don't know. That's about all I know about oh, it. No. But obviously, because we're waiting like another 20 minutes. What else do we do when <laughs> I've got my Ribena? You've got your Ribena that I bought you earlier. <laughs> and a cider. a cider. And I have a pint. If it focuses. Why does this camera never focus? So, so I'm being healthy ish with all the sugar. You should just pop that in that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm being an adult. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, well, it's only like 20 minutes till seance, no, so we'll do fine. that. And then afterwards, we'll do some of the other attractions. I'm actually really looking forward to it. It seems like quite well set out today, doesn't it? So, mm, enjoy your cider, Amber. <laughs> Just come out of the seance. Yeah. I, I'll ask your opinions in a bit because I know <laughs> they're not quite as good as mine. But yeah, they were, they're still good though. Like, but I just yeah, didn't enjoy it as much as you it. did. Yeah. No, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was like, I quite like those audio experiences. Well, it's the first time I've ever done one. Yeah. I mean, well, besides the barber YouTube and what, thing, and, but... and and also it kind of it, it's kind of like Sweeney Todd as well, and like the yeah. dungeons that sort of thing. Yeah, it is that kind of thing. I quite like those. They do put me on edge a bit, and Seance actually did put me on edge. Um, there were moments where I found myself like playing along to what they're actually saying on the thing. Like they ask you to put your hands on the table, and then they tell you to start breathing, and I felt myself going <laughs> along with it. Um, I'd like to know whether they actually are doing anything with the table, whether it's vibrating. Or whether that's actually your mind playing tricks on you. I don't think it's vibrating. It, yeah. <laughs> it does. Because I didn't feel any vibrating. Did you not? No. But I guess you have to kind of like, I think with one of those attractions, you have to kind of like believe in it. And you have to actually kind of like follow along with what they're saying. I think if you don't, you won't get the same experience. And also, if you are going to go into seance, sit in the middle. Yeah. Don't sit on the far left or far right. I because sat we right did that. at the end. You were right on the end, yeah. weren't you? And there was nobody next to you, but the audio acts as if someone is next to you. Yeah. And so you, that completely ruined the immersiveness for it. Yeah, and I think that's, maybe that's why I didn't have such a good experience. Because yeah. I, I, I was really, really creeped out at first. 
-hmm. but then as soon as they started talking about like there was people talking next to me and I was like but there's no one next to me so yeah. it's so not really it is one of those experiences that you have to sit if I sat right in, middle, in the middle I probably would have felt differently yeah maybe. but um, I think it's good I do think it is worth the, the upcharge yeah. if you if you don't have an annual pass it's £4.50 and it's nice to do something different than a maze yeah I think that's the main thing and that's why I enjoyed it so much is that it wasn't a maze and it was still quite creepy and spooky yeah. I really so. I, like you, you said you're saying that like, I I did enjoy it but I just it just didn't it wasn't real yeah. for me but I think that's because I was sat on the edge I, I don't think go in expecting any jump scares you're not gonna get jump scares but go in thinking that you're gonna be on edge and definitely play along and you I were think. saying play put, put your it. hands on the table I yeah. did put my hands on the table yeah but, the, but that was before all the like talking like next to me happened and mm -hmm. I was like uh. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah I guess yeah so again if you're going in Sit in, in the middle, sit in the middle play along a, a little experience. bit, and yeah, you'll have a good experience. But, it was but I enjoyed really it. Good. Uh, I'd, I'd give it a three out of five again. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, I'd give it a four just because yeah. I had the better experience, I think. Um, I think we're going to go try one of the mazes or something. Yeah. I know Amber <laughs> is obsessed with going to this witch's tower thing. I want to go to the witch's yeah, tower. I think it's for kids, but. It's, well, I had a look at the sign. It says for three to eight, but it still looks really cool. <laughs> mm, maybe not that one. Yeah! <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hey, so what were you in the queue for now? House of Wax. House of Wax. Yeah, I thought this was like a movie, but uh, <laughs> apparently this one isn't. Well, we've probably still in it. Oh, no, that one was the terrible one. Oh, I've always been. No, there's another one, but no, it's, yeah, it's called House of I Wax, and I don't really know what it's about. I know, I think, I don't know, it's weird. Well, it's in I think it's about Madame Two Swords, and I think they make out that Madame Two Swords is actually like an evil killer. I've always thought that. Well, to be fair. <laughs> Wow, okay. <laughs> but to be fair, like at White Castle they do their they separate them into like three categories. Yeah. And it's like daring dukes, brave knights and scaredy something. Scaredy squires. And scaredy squires is for like little kids. Yeah. Daring dukes is for like ten to twelve I'm assuming. Yeah. And then like brave knights are for like thirteen plus. But this yeah, is a okay. like middle one this so is yeah assuming. daring jukes so so but from what i've heard it is actually a bit scarier well, than <laughs> some people it does say at the front give it credit for like things do jump out at you yeah so. <laughs> so, i'm looking forward to it so house of wax that was all right i thought like yeah. a decent little scare attraction nothing like overly terrifying but it is for that kind of like middle age well, group, it's, it's, it? it says on the sign that it's for like 10 plus so i wasn't really expecting yeah. like super scares but they still the actors still went for it in there like they were doing mm. their jump scares um and i had some quite small kids behind me and they were yeah. terrified so. i think a lot of the actors in there kind of adjusted their scares if they were going for an adult or if yeah. they were going for a child which was you know it's quite good, good. It's yeah. good tactic to have um i think that it was a little bit light in there at places like from the windows and stuff yeah. they've obviously tried to board up but most of it it's quite a good job at covering them up yeah. I, I enjoyed it i thought it was good um obviously it's free it's part of entry yes, free. into the you event you can keep going so. round and round if you really want it uh, yeah i mean i don't think i'll be rushing no. in there again <laughs> well it's not really for but our age group but no it's not so good fun though really enjoyed it um i'm trying to find where the next uh, uh scare maze is because there's a one for more like adults kind yeah, of yeah and i'm not sure so we're gonna have a look for it and see if we can find it yeah so but house of wax thumbs up from me i'd give it you know what maybe a three out of five pumpkins well i'd give it a two but then that's only because it's not for my age yeah, like i didn't i didn't find it scary but for 10 year olds and younger then yeah they would definitely find it scary right, <laughs> let's go and try and find i think it's called outbreak 1396 or no, something some number <laughs> we'll find out what i like you <laughs> Amber, we're going to go into the, out, the outbreak attraction, weren't we? Yeah. But unfortunately, we found out it doesn't open until five o'clock. Yeah. So that was a bit uh, disappointing. But we were going to leave the park, but then we found a really sweet little attraction, didn't we? Yeah, the just haunted as we were hollows. leaving, and it's like hidden, like by the edge. Yeah, I didn't. When we came in, I didn't even see it. I didn't. See <laughs> like, it. I didn't even it's realize it was a thing. It's like the horrible history of that. Yeah, it's a really nice little attraction. Like it's obviously aimed for kids because yeah. the actors in there are just going, "Oh, hello, happy Halloween." Yeah, but there was our favourite like bush person. <laughs> oh yeah, it was like, like being back in Seeds of Extinction again. <laughs> Terrifying. Love the bush people. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't run. <laughs> 
Um, but going through that, it's kind of changed our plans a little. We yeah. were going to leave here earlier um, and go to the Howl, because uh, we have that attraction tonight yeah. as well, so it's a busy day for us. <laughs> um, but we've decided that we're going to stay a little bit longer. We're going to wait until um, Outbreak opens. Yeah. Um, do that um, and we're also going to pop out quickly to get some food from yeah. Weatherspoons because I'm not paying Merlin prices. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to stay a little bit longer. We're enjoying ourselves quite a bit so yeah. um, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. After a nice meal. I'm stuffed. I'm really stuffed. <laughs> we went to Weatherspoons in Warwick um, and you know the portion sizes there aren't actually that big but they always like blow me away. They're really and I'm like, filling. Oh, 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 didn't even have that much. I only had a burger. <laughs> yeah so it's um, now it's about 20 past uh, what is it four um, so we've got a little bit uh, of a wait until outbreak opens so I think we're just going to kind of check out the rest of the atmosphere around Warwick uh, well around the castle because we're not in the town anymore. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's a lovely shot of the uh, castle behind us. So uh, let's see what's going on. Over there. So me and Amber just had another quick go through House of Wax, didn't we? Yeah! And that was a lot better, that run. It was, through, it was so much better, that Yeah, Yeah, quite a little bit scarier. Um, I think that might have been because there were no children in our group. Yeah. So I think the actors felt that they could go a little bit further with us. And um, I really enjoyed it. I actually got a little pop. You track. actually got... I actually got a little one. <laughs> I was quite impressed A little that. one. It was a, good, it was a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, it was good though, really enjoyed that. So, Outbreak, on, on what number? Out of 1396. Yeah. It is actually 13. <laughs> One of them. That's, one of them. That's where we're going now. But we're going over there and I can see already it's going in a bit of a queue build up. So we'll see you over there. Okay, so me and Amber have just come out of Outbreak 1369. Well, that was quite disappointing actually. Yeah. I, I was hoping for a little bit more than that, a little bit more scare. I think I actually got more scare than a few other attractions today. I think it was definitely the weakest one. Yeah, which, which is, is quite a shame, sad, really, because yeah. it is meant to be the adult one, um, and as such, you expect it to be scary. Yeah. And it wasn't really scary. No. It was obviously you could tell it was meant to be a bit more intense. But it was a bit more like yeah. scary looking scenes. I really like the way that they made like the is it Kingmaker? Yeah. The Kingmaker it is into Kingmaker. that place. Because they only had they like an it hour to in do an hour. It. And Which, I think that is, it, it was quite good in like that impressive. way. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, well detailed, but I don't know whether that's just down to the fact that it is Kingmaker. But yeah. then the things that they have added to it do make it look better. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it helped yeah. as well because the front of our group got completely lost. No, they got like, yeah. And then we all stood in this room for a while and then an actor had to basically yeah. show us the way. Yeah, which you just went, thanks. I was like, thank you. And then so, I ended up at the front. Yeah. So. Uh, it's a shame. I, ex I expected a little bit more, but luckily the rest of the attractions here today have made up for it. Yeah. It has been a really good event. We've yeah. enjoyed ourselves. And the lighting here is really nice. Oh yeah, fantastic <laughs> lighting. But I think they've been well known for that in the past yeah. anyway. Um, but that comes to the end of Warwick Castle for the day. Yeah. Um, we are off to the, the Howl, Howl down in Leighton <laughs> Buzzard. Um, so yeah, we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a massive thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>